If you're a Jira admin and you are using Jira sandbox capabilities, then you probably have run into this very, very annoying use case. And that is when you make your sandbox, you have the option to copy your production data over to your sandbox. And this is great. This works really, really well. But over time, your sandbox and your production Jiras start to differ quite a bit. And then you run into the following problem. What happens when you want to bring something from production over to your sandbox, but you don't want to override your sandbox data because you've also done some cool things over there that you're still not quite finished, but now you have the problem that the only option that you have is to override your sandbox with all the production data. Now this obviously puts us in a bit of a bind. And so today using Salsa's configuration manager, I'm gonna show you how you can cherry pick changes from your production environment and bring them into your sandbox or vice versa. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and don't forget to check out the links down below as you're definitely gonna to wanna to try out a free 30 day trial to Salto configuration manager. Let's jump into Salto and let me show you a typical use case. All right, so here I am inside of Salto and all you need to know at this point is that I have two environments already pre-configured. I have my sandbox and I have a production environment. And I'm gonna be using Salto's compare and deploy to take a look at my sandbox and compare it with my production and vice versa. And so all I'm gonna be doing is using Salto's compare and deploy to look at my production instance. And I'm gonna be cherry picking a project that I know I created in production, but I need it over in the sandbox so that I can do some experimentation and I don't want to override my sandbox because the only option you have natively is to copy your production data from your production Jira and completely override your sandbox, thus jeopardizing all the hard work that you've done in your sandbox is not quite ready for prime time. So I'm gonna click into compare and deploy. Again, I've already made my two environments. I'm gonna click on compare and deploy up here. I'm going to pick my production Jira as my source. You can optionally do a fetch now if you've just made the change recently, but since I did my changes a while back, the latest fetch from two hours ago should be good. And then your target is going to be your sandbox. Again, it depends on the use case. Sometimes you wanna go from your sandbox to production or from production to your sandbox. In this particular use case though, we're cherry picking something for production because we don't want to override our sandbox with all the latest production data. So this way we're gonna be able to just go pick what we want. And so here we are going to the sandbox for our target. You gotta give it a name. So this is going to be cherry pick Jira project. And I'll give it a one just in case we gotta do it twice. Hit the compare and deploy. And then what Salt is going to do is it's gonna find all the differences between both environments. And so this is really, really awesome. I encourage you to check all this out because it tells you all the additions, your modifications, and anything that's deleted. Now, to show you the power of Salto, I could, if I wanted to, just bring in an automation rule. Let's just say we're working on a specific automation rule. I can just simply click on this automation here, and I'm gonna see, these are all the pluses, right? So that means that all these automation rules exist in the source, but not in the target. And so I can just simply bring one of those if I wanted to. So you have that flexibility. But I wanna show you the real true power of Salto. And instead of just cherry picking little items, little configurations, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring over an entire project. And what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to not only bring the project, but all the dependencies, all the fields, the screens, the permissions, the roles, everything that encompasses this particular project, it's all going to be figured out for me and Salto is gonna be smart enough to bring it all for me. And so here's the project that I want. This is a very simple project that I've been working on. It doesn't exist in my sandbox. I could, if I wanted to recreate it, that's error prone. And so rather I want to use Salto to just bring the project from production and move it onto my sandbox. Now I could also go to my sandbox environment, which is here, and I'm all my projects. I'm gonna clear everything out, and as you can see, my Lin demo project does not exist. These are in alphabetical order. So here's proof that that project is not there. And so I'm simply gonna go back into Salto, click on this checkbox, and I'm going to see that five dependencies are missing. So I just need to click in here and then click on those dependencies. And so Salto is going to automatically take care of it. It's just gonna go and figure out, okay, we had to bring in some screens, some schemes, some permissions, some fields. And so once all of that is selected, we can simply click on preview deployment 
Salto is going to do its thing. It's basically comparing and it's doing all the analysis that it needs to do. And it's getting that deployment ready for you. It's making sure that there's no errors. It's making sure that there's nothing else that's missing that is going to be critical for this push to be successful. So it does take a few seconds. And obviously, the more you do, the little longer it's going to take. But you get to watch this really, really cool beaver do its thing. Now, once the analysis is completed, we're going to be brought to basically a preview. This will tell you, hey, this is all the stuff that's going to be changed. And so we're going to be sending in some screens, the workflow, the issue type scheme, the issue type screen scheme, the screen layouts. It's all going to come over. And once we are good, once we can confirm that this is good, and one key thing for you to note, make sure that under project you have a yes, because if it doesn't, then you may have run into some problems. And so make sure that you have a yes for all of these. If not, you're going to want to fix those problems. And once you're ready, once everything says yes, it's all good to go. We're simply going to click on deploy. And now Salto again is going to do its thing. But this time, rather than doing an analysis, now it's doing the heavy lifting. Now it's actually moving all those settings from that one Jira project and it's moving it into your sandbox environment or whatever destination that you want. And it's bringing everything that we've identified in these steps. And so again, you can not only just do a project, but you can bring in some automation rules as well. Maybe you want to bring us just a specific field or specific schemes. You have the freedom to do all of that. I just want to do the project because it shows you that not only the project will come over, but all of the other dependencies that are intertwined with the project. So after a few seconds, we're going to have a deployment successful notification here. And now we can simply go back into our sandbox. I'm going to click on refresh here and watch what happens. We should now have a new project. And here it is, Lin Demo. And if I click into it, it's not going to have any issues. Salto doesn't migrate any of your issues. But if I go back to my project settings, my workflows, my permissions, my notification schemes, all of that stuff all comes over. So everything here that would have been in my production environment is now available in my sandbox environment and it's ready to go. So this is a really, really good use case of, of solving a very annoying problem with Jura because I have run into this problem countless times where we do all this work in the sandbox or we do all this work in production and all of a sudden these two environments are very, very much out of sync and we hit a junction point where we want them to be more in sync. But the only path forward is to take all production and completely just throw away your sandbox and start over. And that's never a good option, especially when you have multiple admins working on multiple concurrent efforts. You're going to throw away some really, really good effort that might not be completed. So using something like Salto to cherry pick those changes from production, bring them into your sandbox. This is going to be the better option. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And finally, don't forget to check out the links down below as you're definitely going to want to check out Salto Configuration Manager. Start your free 30-day trial using that link below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.